6. How should I retain Form I-9? Form I-9 must be retained for three years after the date of hire or one year after the person's employment is terminated, whichever is later. Two issues face you in this matter, however, should you keep copies of the documents you've examined, and where should your I-9S be stored? Though you are not obligated to keep copies of the documents you've examined, they can be vital evidence should your company be audited. These records, however, should be kept in a separate file specifically for I-9 records. Tell me more. You're under no obligation to keep copies of driver's licenses, social security cards, passports, or any other documents that you use to comply with Form I-9. Many employers prefer not to retain any documents for fear that the record retention itself may become too burdensome. On the other hand, there are several valid reasons for keeping copies of the documents used to establish compliance with the law. First, if a supporting document turns out to be fraudulent, the photocopy will establish that you examined the document and that it appeared to be genuine on its face. Since you, as an employer, are not required to be a document expert, a photocopy will help you establish that the document that you examined had no visual cues to doubt the document's authenticity. Second, if you can show that you've complied with Form I-9 requirements, your company will have established a good faith defense with respect to a charge of knowingly hiring an unauthorized alien. As far as storing I-9 documents, most employment experts agree that I-9 documents should not be kept in employees' personnel files, instead, a separate binder or folder should be used where all company I-9s are housed. Why? Employers are frequently caught unprepared for I-9 audits and often must scramble on three days' notice to compile the necessary records. Weeding through employees' personnel files takes too much time when speed is of the essence. Ready-to-use binders, on the other hand, make the task of inventory management that much easier. In addition, Maintaining a separate I-9 file will better serve all employees' privacy interests and lessen your company's liability for failing to protect those interests. After all, most employers wouldn't care to have government auditors combing through their employees' personnel files where other information, such as performance reviews, 401k savings information, or other private records, are housed. Not only is such confidential information irrelevant to the I-9 audit, but also, if unrelated information in those personnel files triggers the INS to notify other branches of government regarding potential violations found in personnel records, your company may end up with an additional audit on its hands. Besides, I-9 forms often include information about an employee's national origin, so it makes sense to separate them from the regular personnel files.